There's a tweet I saw from a user named Three Sided Story, and they put the United States women's national team hearing the national anthem. The video corresponding with this, okay? Most of the U.S. women's soccer players refuse to sing our great national anthem. What a disgrace. Then, underneath it, they put a link to their tweet on the Portuguese women's soccer team, which wrote and read as follows. The Portuguese women's national soccer team singing their national anthem at the Women's World Cup to how the U.S. players sang ours. Why is this still a thing? That's my question. Why is this still a thing? And for one-sided story, let me ask you a question. When you go to a stadium, do you make sure that you are in your seat at the time of the playing of the National Anthem? Do you make sure that your hand is over your heart? Or are you taking a dookie in the urinal? Are you just getting to the stadium? How about when you're watching at home? Do you stand up with your hand over your heart? When you're in a restaurant, do you take your hat off? Or at a bar, do you take your hat off? And then do you put your hand over your heart? If you are in the car and this is on the radio or you're streaming it on your phone through Bluetooth, aux, what have you, do you pull over, unlock your seatbelt, or if you don't have one, which I'm sure you don't have one on, do you then put it in park, get out of your car, turn the radio dial up, and put your hand over your heart? Do you sing it every time? Do you sing it in a packed bar? Do you sing it at home? Do you sing it at a restaurant? Do you sing it when you're taking a dookie in the urinal? I'm just curious. And for all the other Republicans who say this stuff, Jerry Jones saying, we toe the line and respect the national anthem. Do you? Or when it's training camp, do you, as Yahoo Sports uncovered years ago, have your hand... Like this over your heart, right? Like this. And do you have your cap on and are you talking to a confidant during the playing of the national anthem? Donald Trump, who has made this a pillar of how he divides us, that we must respect the national anthem. We must when attacking black athletes who knelt to bring awareness to systemic racism and police brutality. Okay. I remember interviewing Jeff Perlman, who wrote Football for a Buck, Bo Jackson's uh, biography, tons of great stuff. Great stuff. Jeff Perlman is fantastic. As a journalist, as an author, also works on winning time because he wrote the Lakers book. Okay. He told me that all this stuff is fugazi. And that's because when he was researching football for a buck, which was based on the United States Football League, the rise and how they were going to bring this league to rival the National Football League. And Donald Trump comes in and says, spring is good, but we got to take him to fall. We got to compete in fall. The whole reason when there was a lawsuit brought up via Trump and USFL's lawyers that he pitched on bringing this up, which was the NFL is a monopoly. He said in court the whole reason he did it was because he wanted to become a National Football League owner, and the commissioner of the NFL at the time was Pete Rizal, who said, as long as I am commissioner, you will never have a team. So the whole reason for him to do this was to try and force his way into a merger so he can be an NFL owner. Didn't happen. And Jeff Perlman told me in an interview, all this stuff with the National Anthem, Fugazi. He would sit during the anthem when he was owner of the New Jersey Generals in the United States Football League. He also doesn't know anything about football. So when you hear him go, ooh, tough hit, five yards, boom, he doesn't know a good hit from a clean hit. He has no idea. But that's another example. I just question when y'all are going to get over this. Some stand there, who are veterans, by the way, And I know this because both of my grandparents, both my grandfathers, who served in World War II and passed away, were honored years back when the playing of the national anthem was done at the United Center, 
There's an interesting tradition. If you want to YouTube it, you can. They were out there on the ice. They had their hats on. They saluted the flag. They didn't sing it. Would you be mad at them? Veterans who served? Who also, God bless them. One of my grandfathers understood what the protest was about and was all for it. Is he a betrayal to the United States? Three-sided story. What they continue to latch on to is nothing. All of this is nothing. All of it. So let me tell you something. When the national anthem plays that Francis Scott Key, a slave owner, conducted and wrote that has racial undertones, you want to sing it, go for it. You don't, don't. It is the free speech pillar that is written in our Constitution. They are not un-American. They are not unpatriotic. They are those who just simply wish to hear it. And for me personally, NBD.